We have a dedicated fragrance review for Mugler's Angel Phantasm. This is the one for the ladies because there is a men's version. But again, we're talking about the ladies version today. I have it. I've been rocking out with it for a little minute now. I have some thoughts about it. Let's get on into it. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. This time we're here. Yes, we're talking about this beautiful bottle or rather, shall I say, interesting bottle. If you know this shape, then you know this is from the Mugler Angel line. This is the newest flanker that they have from this lineup. And this is, again, the Angel Phantasm Eau de Parfum Sensual, you all. So I said, okay, that's nice. This one was not on my radar at all. This one, in fact, showed up on my doorstep because it was kindly sent over to me from the brand. However, just because something is gifted does not change my opinions, good or bad about it. So let's talk about how we do dedicated reviews here. When it comes to dedicated fragrance reviews, I rate fragrances by five categories. The first category is mood, and that is simply, when do I see myself wearing this fragrance? What time of year? What type of event? That's what I mean by the mood. Second category is strength, and that's on a scale of one to 10, with one being this ain't nothing but water in a pretty bottle, to 10 being nuclear powerhouse juice. I'm probably gonna have to scrub it in order to get it off. Third category is longevity, and that is how many hours long lasting is a fragrance. I know that's everyone's favorite category. Then there is the fourth category, and that is simply, is this a compliment getting fragrance? Yes or no? Because hey, you know, it's nice to get a compliment from time to time. Then we have the fifth category, and that is the comparison category. And that is simply, does this fragrance remind me of any other fragrance? Does it remind me of a fragrance that I own or even a fragrance I have sampled or smelled before in the past? We talk about it there because as we know, so many fragrances are coming out these days that things can start to smell like each other. So, you know, we kind of have a decipher between those. So now you know how we do things, let's get into it. Lipstick of the day today, everyone. I went in with a brownie brown, a peachy brown color, shall I say. This is from MAC, and this was the shade Persistence. This is an old color here. Let me know what you think in the comments below, as well as everything on my face will be in the description box, as well as all the fragrances discussed today will be down there as well, so you don't have to ask questions about it. And the fragrance of the day is this beauty right here, the Angel Phantasm fragrance. So now you know what we're talking about, and now let's get into the backstory and specs of this fragrance. So this fragrance was released in summer of 2024. That is this year if you're watching right now. <laughs> So this is a new release for the year. This is meant to be a spring summer fragrance based according to how Mugler has this written up. And you know, I let you know how I feel about that. This scent was not on my radar at all because true story, I do not own any of the Angel fragrances. Do I own some Mugler fragrances? Yes, I do. Particularly out of the Alien line. I do have some of those. I have reviewed them on the channel. Definitely check that out if you haven't already. But I don't own any of the angel fragrances and that is because backstory some of my old ills know this before the new ills back when i was in college i worked a seasonal fragrance job at macy's you know just to earn a little extra money while you're in school that type of thing and a client came in to refill their bottle of original angel and it spilled all over me and so for that reason i know that smell anywhere and that's why i refuse to buy it or anything related to angel for years so truly this will be an unbiased review because for the longest i have not liked that dna because it spilled all over me. <laughs> but anywho, I know a lot of y'all love Angel, but I just had to give you all my backstory with this. So that is why I was not checking for any Angel release. I just want to put that out there now. But alas, this did show up on my doorstep because the brand sent it to me. So I want to give it a fair and unbiased review. <laughs> Another thing too, there is a men's version of this fragrance. I will hopefully try to insert a picture of it if I can find it. But yes, that is one for the guys. It has different notes too from what I'm seeing. It has a chocolate note, which I'm thinking, hmm, that's interesting. But alas, we're talking about the ladies version. So one thing about this scent is it has a lot of offerings, meaning in the sizes and the pricings category. And I think that is good, particularly if you go to their official website. So let's get into the sizes and prices. So there is a 10 mil size, which is like the travel size. The 10 mil retails for $35. Then there is a 25 mil, which that's a different size. Most people don't offer a 25 mil, they usually do 30. The 25 mil retails for $95. Then there is a 50 mil, the 50 mil retails for $150. And for context, this is the, yes, the 50 mil. I have the 50 mil size bottle right here, which this is a lot of juice and the bottle is pretty heavy. This is glass by the way. So, okay, I see the value there. Now back to the other sizes, there is a 100 mil size, the, the, which is the biggest size, the big daddy as I call it. The 100 mil size is $190 and there also is a 100 mil refill and that retails for $142. So yes, this is a refillable bottle, which that has always been a thing with the Angel bottles. Again, my backstory about how it spilled on me. <laughs> 
So I have to say, one thing I will note though, for this to be a designer fragrance, this is on the little bit pricier side. I have to note that. And then when I see that price jump from the 10 mil to the 25 mil, I'm like, whoa. Okay, I just have to note that. It is October when I'm filming this video. We are nearing the holiday season, which means holiday sales. So you can catch a deal on a discount, but I always like to give you all the full pricing of these fragrances. So you're not shocked when you go into the department store. So now let's talk about the notes of this scent because I know y'all like, okay, well, what is it supposed to get? So it is classified as a fruity, ambery scent. So y'all top notes, we have our pineapple and bergamot. Middle notes, y'all, are coconut and tierra flower. And then we have a base of patchouli, rich bourbon vanilla, and amber. Now, technically, they say it's supposed to be a year-round fragrance. However, they suggest that you wear it in the spring and summertime, which is, of course, when it came out. And I'm like, okay, but let me tell you what I actually get from the fragrance. I'm going to refresh my nose with it. And you do press the little button back here to make it spray out. I'm not the biggest fan of the atomizer. I kind of have to work with it, kind of have to wrestle to make it spray a little bit, but it does spray out eventually. I'm gonna tell you right now, you gotta like patchouli for this fragrance because patchouli is definitely listed as a base note and the patchouli is in here. You do get the pineapple, you do get the coconut in my opinion, which is why this is like such an interesting fragrance to me. There's also some bergamot in here too. Hmm, the bourbon vanilla I don't get immediately. That's one of those things that comes out more so on the skin in my opinion, but mainly I get the pineapple and that patchouli, which is like interesting. And the fact that those two kick out first, I'm like, okay, they said there was some tropical notes in here. And whenever y'all see pineapple, we tend to think tropical. So I'm like, okay, cool. So that's what I mainly get from the scent. And this is not a linear fragrance. It definitely takes you on a journey. And I was impressed by that. So now let's get into the rating system of this fragrance. Cause you know, that's what you're here for. The mood of Angel Phantasm, y'all. So the mood of this scent, now of course, like I said, they said it's for spring and summer, but I completely disagree. And I'm gonna tell you what I mean. To me, this is a transition fragrance. And I'm explaining what I mean by that. Transition meaning going from season to season. And in this particular case, it goes best in my opinion, going from summer into fall because of the notes and most importantly like I've been wearing this on my skin too so in the daytime when it's transitioning it is hot right it'd be hot sun still shining when I however it starts to get cool in the evening right and in my opinion how the notes perform in this scent is exactly mirroring that type of weather so the coconut the pineapple all of that that shines more so in the daytime and also that shines more so when you first spray the fragrance right but then as it dries down those heavier notes come in to play and those heavier notes are needed when it's cooler at night so the bourbon vanilla the amber the patchouli right especially that patchouli that is the star i'm gonna tell you that right now that shines as it dries down to me and in my opinion you need those heavier notes to handle cooler weather so that's why i'm like no this is giving me more summer to fall to me like personally i would not wear this in the spring i would not wear this in the dead of summer i would not because again these notes they aren't lightweight notes so mm -mm, this is a transition scent to me 100 percent Transition scent that can be worn day, night, casual, going out. Because I have worn it in the daytime. I have worn it to go out, all the above. So that is the mood of this fragrance. Transition scent, summer to fall. Now the strength of this fragrance, you all. Strength, on a scale of 1 to 10, it's a 6. So even with all these notes going on with it, it's still not doing too much. It's just enough going on in it. Because honestly, if this was any stronger, it would be nauseating and cloying. So I'm glad they didn't make it too strong because there is a lot happening in this scent. <laughs> so again, the strength of this fragrance is a six. Longevity of this fragrance. To me, I get five hours out of this scent. That has been my experience with it. Every time I wear it, whether I spray a little bit or spray a lot of it, I get about five hours out of this fragrance. So meaning it turns to a skin scent at that point and you will need to retouch it if you want to continue to smell it. Next category, is this a compliment getting fragrance? And I have to say, this is a compliment getting fragrance. Apparently the coconut is what pulls more on my skin, I am told. And I'm like, okay, I wouldn't have expected it. Again, I think the patchouli is the strongest note to my nose, but apparently to others around me, it has been the coconut note. This is a compliment getting fragrance. <laughs> now for the last category, does this fragrance compare to anything else? And in my opinion, the only thing it really compares to is just the entire Angel line and most importantly, the OG Angel. It compares to that, which to be fair, it makes sense. It's a flanker after all. So it should have some DNA of the original in it. And I think they did that. Just in my opinion, they put a little bit more of a summery, so let's say tropical twist on this one and compared to the OG one. The OG is like the original gourmand scent, especially in designer world. So it has their legacy. This one, like I 
say you will wear these kind of right now in my opinion because at least here in Tennessee it's like 80 degrees in daytime but then it'd be like 55 at night so see that type of weather that's what this is but it only compares to the other angels to me and so I have to say y'all in conclusion about this fragrance I actually am impressed with it and I'm gonna tell you why because again I was not checking for it I haven't been checking for angel ever since that original bottle spilled out on me was not checking for this but to spray this and really give it an objective review. I am impressed because this scent is not linear. It takes you on a journey. It does morph. So to be a designer fragrance, it is giving me kind of niche vibes for that reason. So I'm like, okay. All right, Mugler, and particularly the Angel line, you have redeemed yourself to me because this is good. I like this scent. I found myself reaching for it just in general, just because I want to wear it, just because I want to smell it that day. I found myself actually liking this scent. So I guess the curse of Angel is over now. So I have to say this is highly worth checking out. Again, the new Mugler Angel Phantasm. I like this scent. I do. I really like this. Do I love it? I'm not going to give it a love. I'm not going to say all that now again, but I do like this. <laughs> you have redeemed the angel family for me. So, all right, everyone, that wraps up my dedicated review on this lovely fragrance, Mugler's Angel Phantasm. Let me know what you think about this fragrance. Have you smelled it? Did you know it was coming out? Because I certainly didn't. Let me know what you think. And also, have you all smelled the men's version, fellas? I know we got guy elves in here now, too. Let me know what you think about that one. I would love to hear your thoughts as well. But yeah, it shocked me. It impressed me. And I'm no longer going to not check for angel fragrances. So there's that. So let me know what you think, everyone, in the comments below. And I will catch you on the next video. Bye, y'all.